We rescued this dog when she was 14 weeks old. She's a byproduct of a puppy mill in Jacksonville that the JSO actually busted and took over 70 dogs away from this person. Fortunately for her, being a young dog, we got her into our home and worked with her a lot earlier than most of our dogs that we rescue. And as a byproduct of that, folks, last year, representing the southeastern part of the United States as one of the youngest dogs ever to win a regional, qualify, and go to the world finals, competing against 35 of the best teams from all over the world, this dog, representing the southeastern part of the United States, finished in ninth place overall. Yes. She is the puppy of our team, our professional dogs, and folks, I'll tell you this much. It is a blessing to have a dog with this much talent, this much heart, and this much love in your home, knowing that she's a byproduct of somebody who is breeding for nothing more than money and could care less about the dogs. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, two-time world finalist, again, the puppy of the team. Please put your hands together for your next entertainer. This is Zora, the sea monster. Come on out here, you good girl. Can I get a kiss? Thank you for the kiss. Sit it down. Now, I got one small problem. You see how fast she's moving? That's the top speed that you get for the rest of her routine. It doesn't get any quicker. But we have a little secret remedy that can change that. And I don't want you to do it just yet, but when her music starts, and I don't care if you're 9 or 90, you're going to know this song. It typifies her personality. Now here's what happens. Don't do it just quite yet, but if you're willing to put your hands together, leave the bug alone. <laughs> go away, go. Thank you. If you're willing to put your hands together, here's what she'll do. Watch. One, two, three, four. Come on. Come on. As long as you're moving your hands, she'll move. The second you stop, you see what happens. We got to get rid of this bug. I'm sorry. Hold on, folks. <laughs> We got rid of the bug. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, you can taste them on the frisbee. How's that? Again, folks, sit back and enjoy. This is Zora. We'll have some music. Good girl. Wait. Get ready. Hey. Good girl. Up and wait. Say, hey. Good girl. Good girl. Go get it. Go. Get her off the street. Yeah, Z. Come on. Go back. Hey. Oh, yes. Go. Keep going. Folks, oh, she's the puppy. Come on. Give her a big round of applause. Woo. Hey, see, bring it here, baby. Bring it around. Set it down. Here we go. It's windy, so stay tight. Turn this way. Right there. You ready? Uh -uh, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Folks, that wind is pushing that desk very hard. We're going to give her one more chance, and then we're going to move on. You ready? There it is. Yeah. Hey, wait. Let me ask you a question. How many people in the audience actually have dogs at home? Come on, let me see your hands. How many of you have the same problem that I have? That once your dog gets something in their mouth that you want back, that you can't get it from them because they won't let go. Anybody else have that problem? Well, here's a guaranteed way, folks, to always get your dog to drop whatever's in their mouth. You know, I can lead her around Leesburg for the rest of the day. And I don't need a leash. <laughs> I got plastic. It's kind of like taking my wife to the mall. She'll follow me anywhere I want to go as long as I got that plastic in my hand, you know? <laughs> now, guys, I'm going to show you a guaranteed way to always get your dog to drop a disc or anything else. And you know what? It doesn't involve using your foot in a final persuasive measure. Check this out. Here we go. Ready? Good set. Here we go. One, two. 
three, four. All you have to do is show them another one. They'll drop the one that's in their mouth every single time to get the next disc. Go. Good girl. Go around. <laughs> Go around. Go. Good girl. Now do it. There it is. Go. Yes. <laughs> Ready? Go around. Go. Upside down. Bring it in. <laughs> Here you go. Get it. Good girl. Butterfly. Good girl. Drop and go. <laughs> okay, let me get another one to show her. Now go. <laughs> See what I mean? Yes. Folks, we have one last move we're going to do for you. We put this in about three weeks ago at the Clay County Fair. It's called the Z-Kick. You're not going to see anybody else doing it, let alone trying it, because it's really that dumb. But we're going to see if she can pull it off. And the wind just changed again. You ready? Go. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, Sam and the Z-Master, give her a big round of applause. Come on. Take it to the house, little girl. No, you're done. Go, go, go. What do you guys think? Is it okay so far? All right.